Hello my friends, Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. It's holiday season and I've had some requests for jazzy Christmas tunes. Silent Night was composed by my compatriot Franz Gruber, so I thought it'd be appropriate. I arranged Silent Night in a chord melody style and it's fairly easy to play. I'm providing you with free tabs for you to download from my website. The link is down below in the description. All right, I'll play through the full song now in regular tempo and then explain everything uh, slowly and in detail. Silent Night is in the key of C major and we have a 3-4 timing going on. I use hybrid picking, which means I use my pick and my fingers simultaneously, but it's perfectly fine if you just want to use your fingers only. Okay, let's get started. Phrase number one are the first four bars of the song. We start with a C major chord. I fret it with my thumb. I start with my thumb on the 8th fret of the E string. Middle goes on the 9th of D, ring on the 9th of G, and my index on the 8th of B string. I play it with my thumb because I need my uh, pinky for the melody. If I play it like this, I don't have a pinky left. So um, that's why I play it like this. We hit the strings once and count to two and. One, two, and. And on count number two and, <coughs> I'll add that... I add that pinky to the B string 10th fret. One, two, and everything else keeps on ringing. That's important in chord melody style. Don't lift your fingers off like up like this. Okay, so let it ring together. One, two, and, and now I'll lift my finger up again and play that B string on the 8th again. So first bar. Then I'm heading over to a B-flat 7, flat 5 chord. The advantage of playing with your thumb, I know that can be hard in the beginning, but you really don't have to press hard, you don't have to go over the fretboard, just a little touching is usually okay. Then I'm heading over to a B-flat 7, flat 5, and I can leave my finger as it is, but move it to the 6th of the E string, have my middle on the 6th of D, 7 is ring on G and index 5th of B. B flat 7 flat 5 chord. We hit it once, count to 2 and again. 1, 2 and. I play the bass again, the E string. That's a filler, it's not the melody. 1, 2 and. And then I play the middle two strings. With my middle and ring finger, or if you play with your fingers solely, then it's the index and the middle finger. <clears throat> so this is a filler thing, bass and the middle. Why do I not play up to the uh, high melody note? Because it's the melody note, I don't want to play it again. So I'm just filling up the chord. Okay, from the beginning. We're going to an A minor 7 and I bar it on the 5th fret, 5 E, 5 uh, D, 5 G, and I have my pinky on the 8th of the B string. 
I do not play the A string, I play the E string, then the D, G and B strings. Jazz chords are never, ha, do never have an A string when we start on the E string, okay? That's an A minor 7. I count to 2 and again, that's always the same rhythm. It's always 1, 2 and 3. So we have 1, 2, then on the 2 and we play the high E string on the 5th fret, which is still barred, just press it a little more. You can lift your pinky off if you wanna, because it could be mute, uh, the pinky uh, could probably mute the, um, the high E string. One, two, and, and now I return to my pinky on the 8th uh, fret of the B string. Okay? Ah, oh, sorry. And then we're heading over to a D9 chord. I have my middle on the A string 5th, 4th of D string, and 5th and 5th of G and B string. 5, 4, 5, 5. You can fret it with all four fingers <coughs> or, or bar your ring finger. It's both possible. I usually bar. So we have the inner four strings played once, one, two, and is the bass note, the A string again. And the count number three are the inner two strings, the D and the G string. Watch out not to mute the index finger with your middle finger, because that happens a lot in, on this chord. So you have to kind of uh, make a band on the, on the middle finger to let that index uh, ring free, that D string. Okay, D9, and that's the whole phrase. I played for you uh, in slow tempo now. One, two, three. Here is phrase number two, which are bars four through eight. We start with a D minor 7 fully barred over the 10th fret. We start on the 10th of E and then we fret through and play only the high, th high, e st uh, high 3 strings. The G, the B and the E string on the 10th, right? So E, G, B, E. Then I play the bass note again on count number 2 and. So we have 1, 2 and. And on count number 3 I'm hitting the high E string again which is the 8th fret again. Then I'm taking my ring and pinky and put it here, so I have a G7. So I'm, I sli also slide my index finger down to the 8th string, 10th fret. Ring is on the 12th fret. Index finger is barring over the 8th fret on the G and the pinky is on the 12th. A, uh, yeah, 10, 12, 10, 12, just the inner four strings. That's a G7. I play that till two and again, same rhythm all the time. One, two, and is the bass again on the A string. And on count number three, I have a filler again, which are the inner two strings, D and G string. So it's. Okay, first two bars. Then I'm to over to C6-9, which is on the 8th fret of E, is a C, the 7 of G, and 8 and 8 of B and E strings. That's a C6-9. I count to 2 and again. 1, 2, and. Hit the low E string again. And on count number 3, we have another melody tone. I hit the high E string again, still on the 8th fret. So this is... And the last bar in this phrase is the C major we had in the first bar. That's 8E, 9 and 9 of D and G, and 8 of uh, the B string, C major 7 chord. So you count till 2 end again. 1, 2, on the 2 end you have that bass string on the, on the E string again. Then we have the middle two strings, the D and the G string. So it's one, two, and three. 
and that was phrase two and I played for you uh, in slow tempo now one two three Phrase number three are four bars that are repeated, so we actually have eight bars of the same four uh, bars. So we start with an F major seven on the eighth fret. This is the eight of A, the tenth of D, the ninth of G, and the tenth of B. One, two, and is the bass string, in this case the A string again. And on count number three, we have the melody note again, which is the B string on the tenth. Then we go over to a bar D minus seven, like before on the tenth fret, but 10 E. Now we have the middle string, the D string, 10, the G string, 10, and we add our pinky on the thirteenth of the B string. So 10, 10 D. 10G and 13B. Then we don't play the bass as we did before, but instead we play a melody note on the 12th of the B string with our ring finger on the 2 and. 1, 2, and. Everything is still ringing, don't lift your finger up. And on count number 3 we have another chord, it's G9 chord. And that's on the 10th of A, 9 of D, and 10 and 10 of B, uh, G and B, either fretted by two fingers or just the ring finger barred. 10, 9, 10, 10, just the inner four strings. So this part is a little more tricky. Th one, two, three. Okay, we'll have to jump from here to here. Okay, the last two bars are C major, 7, and I played with my thumb here because I have another melody thing, like in the beginning, like in the first bar. This time I played up till the high B, B string. We start again on the 8th of uh, E, the 9th and 9th of D and G string, and the 8th of the B string. Na eight, sorry, nine, nine, eight. That's a C major seven. And now I add the melody tone with my pinky at the tenth of the B string, and I go back to the eight. I add it on the tenth of B, and I hit the B string again, where my index is still on. Don't lift your index up. The rhythm is always the same. One, two, and three. Then I remain here and I play only the three lower notes. I play the bass, the D and the G string. Because it's just a filler chord, we have no melody anymore. One, two, then the bass again, the E string, and the middle two strings. On count three. Okay, last two bars. And we repeat those same four bars for, for the next line and we have eight bars. So I'm going to play all those eight bars again for you now. And this is phrase number three. One, two, three. And here are the last bars of our song. And it starts with a G9. I have it on the 10th of A, the 10th of bars with the ring finger, I bar over the 10th of G, B and E strings. Actually, I include my index finger on the 9th of, of the D string, but we don't play the D string, so you don't need to do that. But this is a G9 chord, and I'm used to playing it like that. So um, I play like that, but I play only the A string, G, B, and E string on the 10th fret. Okay. One, two, 
and has the bass again and count number three has a melody on a high E string, tenth again. Now we're heading to an E7 flat 9 chord and I use a diminished substitution for that. <clears throat> I play my 12th of the D string, which we actually don't play, but please fret it already. We play it later. 12th of D, 13th of uh, G, 12th of B, and 13th of E. But we play the, the low E string in bass, open E string, and we play the higher three notes, the higher three uh, strings. The G string, B string, and E string. We don't play the D string with the index finger on right now because we play the bass. One, two, and on a one and on a two end, we slide down one, two, three frets. We don't slide, sorry, we move down. And now, while the bass is still ringing, I play all four strings here: the ninth, the tenth, the ninth, and the tenth of the highest four strings. So I have. And I do that again, three down, one, two, three, and play all four strings again. Six, seven, six, seven we have. Okay, this is the second bar. Then it resolves to actually A minor, and I use the substitution again, an F, uh, F sharp minor seven flat five chord, which is also called an, called an F sharp half diminished chord. And it is actually an A minor 6 chord also. I start on the A string 9th fret, then nothing on a D string, 9th of G, 10th of B, and 8th of uh, E string. 9, nothing, 9, 10, 8. I count to 2 and then I have my bass again, and then I have the G and B string again. Okay. I go to the real resolution, the A minor, which is on a 12th E, 13th of the B, and 14th of the uh, G string, and I play the A in bass. Count to 2 and again, play the bass again, the A string, and play the G and B string on count number 3. So this is... Alright, everything. Let's revisit from the G9. From the beginning, actually. One, two, three. Now we're going to C, which you can leave your middle finger as it is, and the rest is pinky on the 15th of A. Ring finger on the 14th of D, index goes on the 12th of G, and this one remains on the 13th of B. 15, 14, 12, 13, in a four strings. And then you play the, the G string on count two end, and the uh, D string on count number three. So it's one, two, and three. And now the ending chords, D minor 11. Heavenly peace. D minor is on the 10th fret, middle finger, 10th of D, 10th of G, and 8th of B string. Count to 2 and then we head over to a G7 flat 9 chord, which I use a diminished chord again, B diminished. 7th of E string. I bar over the 6th with my index from the D string. The ring finger goes on the 7th of G, and then I, I press my barred finger, index finger over to the B string. So I have 7, 6, 7, 6. This is a B diminished or G7 flat 9. The rhythm is, this is the only bar actually with only two notes in. It's 1, 2, and, no, sorry. There is a third note, and that's the G string on the seventh fret. One, two, and three. And the final chord is a C6. And that's an A minor with a six in bass. 
uh, uh, with a C in bass. C, that's the third of A, second of D, second of G string, and first of B string, the inner four strings. Okay, so that was... All right, let me play that last phrase for you in slow tempo. One, two, three. I hope you liked my little video. If you do so, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I wish you a Merry Christmas, a peaceful time, Happy Holidays. See you soon. Bye-bye.